Welcome back to Parsnips and Parsimony. Today's video is a collaboration for Crocktober. So today I'm going to be cooking my meal in the crock pot. I'll take you guys along for it. But please be sure to check out the other channels that are participating in Crocktober. All of those will be down in the description below. And I also have a playlist so you can check out all the other fabulous recipes for Crocktober this year. So with that, I'm gonna get started this morning. Actually, my girls already jumped onto the project for me. So I guess I'm gonna just jump right in and show you guys what they're doing. So the girls are getting a jump on peeling and coring all of the apples. This makes this job a lot easier. If you don't have one, you certainly can just use a knife and a regular vegetable peeler. But this is a really helpful tool when I'm making my crock pot applesauce. The reality is my days are a little crazy. If you guys didn't see the announcement over on Instagram and Facebook, yes, my oldest daughter is getting married. So we are in full-fledged planning, wedding planning mode here. <laughs> so I am trying to keep my meals simple today. Normally I do my applesauce on the stove, but today I'm doing it in the crock pot. I got a whole bunch of these apples from our local orchard. These are called cider apples. So these are your going, these are more imperfect apples, but they make perfect applesauce and I got a great price on them. So we're gonna be using some of these. So if you've never seen one of these apple cores, this one is just a universal brand. You can find these on Amazon. You can find them pretty much anywhere. This is your peeler blade. It's completely adjustable. So if you know you have thicker skins or whatever, you can adjust that. You're gonna just stab your apple onto here. Hang on, honey. Stop. This when this gets clogged, we have to unclog it, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you take that out for me? Okay, let's get that. There we go. So you're just going to go ahead and adjust this. Oh, this needs to get tightened up, girls. There we go. And you're just going to go ahead and twist it. Really, really simple. Pop it off. Take the core out. There you go. Okay, Mary, I'm going to ask you to start chopping these up. A little bit of skin is fine. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, but I, for the most part, like to remove most of the skin. So it just makes it a little bit easier for the little guys eating this. If there's any remaining bad spots, because these are cider, cider apples, sometimes you get those spots, just go ahead and cut them out. And these can just be lightly diced or chopped. The apples will turn a little brown, no big deal. If you want to combat that, you can add a little bit of lemon juice to the crock pot. Yeah, if there's little spots, just go ahead and cut those out, Mary. Okay, Mary, you can go ahead and just put all those ch cut chunks right in the pot here. All right, we've switched out. Grace is now working on chopping. I'm going to add approximately a half a cup of water. This is just gonna keep that from sticking while that's cooking. And we're gonna fill this right, right up full. So we'll have a really big batch of applesauce. And now I'm just gonna add a little splash of lemon juice. About that much, maybe about a tablespoon. Can I help cut now? Me. This will be the last apple. Mom, can I help you three? I think they did the pot. No, that will be four or five and four. Mom, here's your little one. Yeah, cut that right in. Put that in. Mom, here's your little one. Look at that. That's super Why? Look at that. Okay, kiddos, this is how you line it up. Okay, you put that there. And then you aim it like right there and push it on straight like that. And then that way you know it's, see, it's lined up. And then you give it a spin. Oops. Uh-oh. I need that to peel it. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. And we need to tighten this up a little more. Okay, we'll get this Daddy eventually. to the rescue, right? Mm -hmm. We'll get that eventually. There we go. You gotta 
Oh, wait. You got Here's skin. the problem. You got skin oh, wait, stuck in it. There's a skin right there. Okay. There you go. Okay, I'll well, try it again. Okay, does that need to be adjusted and pulled yeah, out a little bit? It does need to be adjusted. Okay. It, must, it was, was working fine in the beginning. I was thinking that it might have come out a little bit. Let's so you see. just un untwist yeah. the... Give a little more... Adjust it. Give a little more uh, space there. Okay. Let's try it again again. Yeah, yeah, apple sauce the there we go. Whoa! Then to get the core off, you pull this back and just go like that. And it usually, usually pops off. Okay, next apple. And everything here will go to the chickens, so it's not like so we're wasting it's anything. Not wasting. We're just feeding the chickens. Now it's Lillian's turn. Remember what Daddy showed you? You pull it back all the way. All the you have way. to line it up. I line it up. I don't know if it's exactly on it. I just put it in the middle where the is. Oh, good job, Lily. Here you go. Yeah, put it down. Faster, getting harder. Get that. And then it's going to start cutting through here, so yeah. it's okay. It'll be a little harder. You've got it. Pop the core out. I just pulled the apple like that. There you go. Good job, Lillian. Okay, while the girls are working on that, Art is helping me reach my other crock pot. We're gonna just do crock pot everything today. Yeah, so next that. is pulled pork in that I also make in the crock pot because it's super easy and it's brainless and trust me, this mom needs brainless right now. I have wedding planning to get going, so brainless it is. Well, the apples are going on over here, right next to it. We have the, the pork going. Yep, so this is just a picnic roast here. Any type of um, a boat, a pork butt, a roast, whatever you can get. Usually you can get these for 99 cents, which makes it a really economical meal here. Um, because I'm in a hurry, <laughs> I am going to cut this into pieces. Normally I would just throw this in whole, but I have too many, um, I don't have enough time today. You can see there's this big fat cap. I'm gonna try to trim off whatever I can of that. Um, just so it's not quite as uh, oily. And you're just gonna run your knife through and work on cutting that off. Not, you don't have to do this. But because I'm putting it in the crock pot, I I don't want all the grease in there. So what do you do with that? Well, there's a couple of things you can do with it. Um, you can either toss it and give it to your chickens. Um, I presume we're going to be giving this to our chickens, right? Or, yes. Yeah, they're going to love this. So I'll cut this up into a bunch of little pieces for them. And they will be happy. And that also helps stretch our chicken feed budget, too. Okay, so this is all the fat that I trimmed off of the pork. This is the bone section here, and then I have all the other pieces of meat here. I'm just going to toss these in the crock pot six hours on high or until it's tender and it falls apart. Every crock pot's a little bit different, so you might need longer, you might need shorter, uh, but six hours should do it for uh, meat that's cut into chunks like this.
the girls just cut, cut an apple skin and it is the same height. About the same height. As me. <laughs> Can you believe that? How, how tall are you? Because this is going... Okay, girls, here you go. How tall Good is girl. That? Good job. How tall is that? Well, how? I'm five foot three inches, so it's got to be right around five foot three inches. Oh. Okay, everything, all the seasonings are put on the roast. I am just doing a combination of garlic powder, cumin, celery salt, salt, pepper, and paprika. That was everything that I put in there. Yeah. And I'll just let this cook on high. Don't open the lid. I th most of you guys, if you're watching Croaktober, you're familiar with this. Don't open the lid. It extends your cooking time. So I'm just going to set it and forget it mm -hmm. and then start my last dish in another crock pot. Hi. Are you eager for mommy to come and hold you? Say yes. Do you like Croaktober? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> are you going to eat some of this yummy food? <laughs> Diana. Hannah, mommy's making applesauce for you. Oh, yeah, yummy! I'm this skin for dad, but we couldn't use. That's how it's pretty much it's almost, it's almost as tall as you, too. Yeah. <laughs> and the last crock pot, I am so thankful for a tall husband. There you go. That's it for the apples. We're going to put this in there and start cooking. Go four hours on high. Let's see here. There we go. Do you think the chickens will like it? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're going to enjoy it. A friend had given me a whole box of these little potatoes. And these are one and a half pound packages. They are already washed. They are everything ready to go. I mean, I feel really spoiled having these. But if you're using regular potatoes, um, if you just pull off any growies, they're not going to hurt you. <laughs> these have a few growies on them. Uh, if you have regular potatoes, make sure they're really well scrubbed and cleaned. Uh, don't need to peel them unless they're green or you want to peel them. But I'm just going to throw these in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to need two bags of fruit, so we'll see how. What do you think? Get one more bag in there, or is that... We'll have to shrink a little bit. Mm. Well, well, you don't have to throw the whole bag in there, just throw That's part of the bag in there. So this recipe I did years and years ago, and it was so delicious that the kids begged me to make more of them. Okay, I don't think a full bag is going to fit in there, because I still got to stir these up. <laughs> okay, so that's about... It's normal. Normal. This is about three and a half pounds. Olive oil, just take some, and you're going to drizzle it over the top of your potatoes. I'm going to say that was about a quarter cup. And then I don't measure. You guys are new to my channel. I measure some things, but spices are not one of them. Garlic powder. Um, just sprinkle it on about that much. Maybe that's maybe about two teaspoons. About a teaspoon of black pepper. And then I'm going to add maybe a teaspoon of thyme. Not too much thyme. About that and then a couple shakes of rosemary again I don't measure and then a little bit of celery salt I guess that's more than a little <laughs> and then I'm just going to kind of toss these up a little bit to mix everything up and that is literally all you do to make these very easy very delicious any water nope nope just cook them just like this and it'll be about four hours so this will cook about the same time as everything else and if not you can just leave it on warm okay i think that looks good and there so we have potatoes we have applesauce we'll have pulled pork the pulled pork will be served on rolls and that's gonna be dinner today and it's all because of the crock pots i love it okay we're just gonna turn that let's see Years ago, my sad little knob broke, so... No, no reason to get rid of the cockpit. Right, it still works there. It's on high. 
high, even though you guys can't tell. It's on high, and we'll just let that cook. These are totally done. These cooked really nice. These were actually faster than four hours, so I just turned this on to low the last couple hours and just have been letting them cook slowly. The applesauce, I haven't done anything with, but it looks oh, good. The, oh, did this, we steam up the camera? Yeah, the one's got steamy. Okay, can you see now? Oh, kind of. <laughs> so, you can see how this looks. It's all done. It's all mushy, nice and mushy. And you can don't, we didn't need to add much water to that. That was only, what, a half a cup of water I added to it, and that's going to be perfect for Hannah and everybody. If you want to season this with sugar and cinnamon, you can. We don't. Um, a lot of it depends on the kind of apples you're using. We're using a mixture of Max and McGowan's in this batch. Empires are really sweet. They make a really good applesauce too, but this is just what the orchard had, so that's what we put in here. So we have the potatoes, the applesauce, and then over here, let me grab a knife. This has been cooking on high, and it looks like it's starting to fall apart. How many Ah, that's perfect. So I'm gonna pop this out, and I'm just gonna start shredding it, and we'll add barbecue sauce to it and call that dinner. Mom, over here, the applesauce? Okay. So Hannah won't need to look it. If this is really well cooked, it will just shred like that really easily. Uh, if you want to use your KitchenAid mixer or your stand mixer, you can do that with the paddle attachment, and that will also break that oh, all up. Fine. Oh, no, man overboard. Let me see how this tastes. Hot. Mm. That is fabulous. Doesn't that taste really good this time? Yes, it does. Okay, a couple ways we can serve it. We can serve it like this if you want to leave it plain. So this is just seasoned. You can add barbecue sauce to it right now, or you can serve that along with it at the table. And then if you want to take some of the juice, because we trimmed out most of the fat, we can put this, add a little bit of that to the pork to make it even more tender and um, juicy. So there we have it. I'm going to go ahead and get everything plated up and served crock pots to the rescue today. I will have recipes, links, all those down in the description below if you want to check out some of those recipes. You see, this is really a recipe-less meal. It wasn't very hard. I feel like I'm cheating when I'm doing this, but it tastes delicious and it's definitely one of our family favorites. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to check out all the other folks that are part of Croctober and their fabulous recipes. I have that entire playlist down below and you can check that out for yourself. As always, I hope you're having a fabulous day and we'll see you for our next video. Bye.